Arizona made international news when it gave Joseph Wood a lethal injection back in July and it took nearly two hours for Wood to die. It triggered outrage from his attorneys and from death penalty opponents who called it barbaric. An independent review of the execution was released today. Investigative reporter Wendy Halloran has poured over it. She joins us now with all the details. Wendy. Well, then, Sue, the Arizona Department of Corrections paid a consulting firm more than $62,000 to review the state's execution protocols. Federal public defenders contended Arizona's plan for executing Joseph Wood was devised in secret, improvised in the moment, and evaluated behind closed doors. The report says otherwise, and tonight, attorneys for Wood are blasting the findings. Attorneys for condemned killer Joseph Wood and the ACLU of Arizona called it a botched execution. The victim's family lashed out at those concerned over Wood's final hours. He smiled and laughed at us and then went to sleep. So all you people that think that these drugs are bad, well, the hell with you guys. It took nearly two hours for Wood to die and 15 doses. All the while, Arizona Department of Corrections Director Charles Ryan was adamant it wasn't botched. Arizona Republic reporter Michael Kiefer witnessed the execution and characterized it this way. It was a clear gasp, you know, and it just sort of looked like a fish opening and closing his mouth. Wood was gasping for more than an hour, and there was an emergency hearing, with attorneys for Wood trying aimlessly to get corrections officials to halt the execution and resuscitate him. This led to an independent review. The report found it was not botched, concluding that at all times following the administration of the execution protocol, the inmate was fully sedated, was totally unresponsive to stimuli, and as a result, did not suffer. The Pima County Medical Examiner is cited as reporting that the breathing pattern exhibited by the inmate prior to his death is a normal bodily response to dying, even in someone highly sedated. However, the review recommended Arizona scrap the lethal injection protocol used in the Wood execution, and that means DOC will no longer use the two-drug combination of midazolam and hydromorphone and will instead rely on a three-drug cocktail that includes midazolam. Now, in a statement to 12 News, Wood's attorneys say the report released today does not answer the question of why the experimental drug protocol did not work as promised. The state should release all of the documentation and witness reports that went into this review. Only through discovery in a court of law will there be a truly independent and comprehensive examination of what went wrong during Mr. Wood's nearly two-hour execution. Now, Dale Bache, one of the Wood's attorneys, told me today the decision to now remove this drug formula is an acknowledgment by DOC that it was wrong in choosing this combination of chemicals. Wendy Halloran, 12 News.